We are here in Arar for a workshop of the Popular University of Social Movements, bringing together academics from Mozambique, uh, academics and social movements and organizations from Mozambique, South Africa, and Zimbabwe, mostly from Zimbabwe, as a matter of fact. And the topic is on people, seeds, land, and climate change. Well, I think it's a very timely and very urgent topic, as a matter of fact. And we have a diverse group of social movements in which the women's movement are a very protagonistic type of presence here uh, with their spe uh, specific issues in, in this field. And I think that's very important what we are discussing because we are addressing uh, both global and local issues because th these ideas of uh, bringing together the peasant economy and the climate change is bringing the local and the global. And to see that the global happens locally and whatever happens locally in our communities also has global implications and in usually reflects uh, uh, global dynamics. So we are really addressing here, uh, I think one of the most important issues is the land issue. The land issue, uh, land grabbing and uh, the preservation and of land uh, for the peasants and for the peasant economy is probably the only tool against uh, the climate change uh, and the pollution. I, I think that we are here uh, to discuss and to develop an autonomous discourse and narrative, uh, autonomous vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the, the global uh, narrative on climate change, which in fact relies on carbon dioxide metrics, on uh, emissions and just quantitative analysis in which the qualitative uh, nutritional and the healthy aspect of food, for instance, that comes from the peasants, are never considered. And in fact, all the global narrative focus on technologies that in the end lead uh, to land grabbing, expulsion of peasants from their land, uh, counter land reforms, uh, as we are witnessing already in Mozambique with privatization of land, uh, which has to be stopped by the movements and organizations, the, the need to preserve and to defend, correct and deepen the land reform here in Zimbabwe and of course the, the struggle for a land reform in, in South Africa which in my view will come about only with major political changes in South Africa. So I think that we are addressing the issues that are most important uh, for the climate change. That's the way in which the Via Campesina is trying to intervene in this, uh, in this, uh, uh, in this area with food sovereignty uh, seeds sovereignty, indigenous knowledge systems, the protection of peasant economies. This is the way in which an autonomous narrative, which in fact the Via Campesina is bringing to the World Social Forum and the other forum, that in fact uh, is a counter-hegemonic narrative uh, to the global uh, narrative of climate change. I think that's why it is so important and we are discussing a particular one of the uh, issues that I think is, is also very important, is the fragmentation of movements, the need to aggregate movements, the need to articulate academic knowledge with popular knowledges, and the need to have a more balanced relationship with donors, so that not uh, foreign agendas are imposed on people, but their, their own agendas by the people, generations generated from below, from grassroots, bottom up, and then probably an interaction with donors. We have to uh, rebalance the power relations between donors and uh, the social movements in Africa, and that's what we are doing here.